So I thought today I would try out these fun flexi rods, which I had tried to film a previous video using these, but it turned into um, a fail from hell type of video. I ended up looking like Sideshow Bob. It was just ridiculous. So as we are filming this, the time is 9.50. Come on, focus. Focus! So the last time I tried these out, I slept in them or at least attempted to sleep in them and I don't know if I put too many in my hair or these are just not comfortable to sleep in, but I am not taking the chance and sleeping in these again. It was the worst sleep of my life. I've slept in sponge rollers plenty of times and yes, it's a little awkward, but I don't find it to be uncomfortable. I just use a really supportive pillow under my neck and I'm fine. I sleep on my back, it's not an issue. These things though, I have not yet discovered a way to sleep in these. I'm still gonna experiment a bit more, but for today, I'm going to set my hair in the morning, let it sit for six hours and take them out this afternoon just to see if they work with my hair type. Because the last time I tried these, not only did I have the most uncomfortable sleep of my life, but my hair became this big, ginormous, frizzy mess. So I think I could have possibly put too many of them in my hair, so I'm gonna try using like larger sections and see if I have better results. So the type of flexi rods that I have are from Goody. I picked up two boxes of these at Walmart and I think they were about $10 a piece. These came in two different sizes, which is why I picked up two boxes because I need to use the larger size for my hair. So I am using completely dry hair for this demo. I've seen demos where they spray the ends down with water. That didn't work for me. It made my hair frizzy and uncontrollable and unmanageable. So. I'm going to use what I use with my sponge rollers, which is the L'Oreal Hair Expertise uh, Curls and Waves Nourishing Curl Cream. Um, I've never had any issues with this product. What I do is I use about half a tablespoon and then I just use it on my ends to just smooth out a little bit of the frizz. This dries pretty quickly. I put it on about 15 minutes ago and it's already dry. So, like I said before, my hair is long try and get it in this shot. That is what I'm dealing with. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna try and keep the sections of my hair a little bit larger. Because that should make for a looser wave, in theory. So start about That seems to be working.
Wow, that is quite the interesting look. So the time is now 10.19. So it took me roughly a half hour to roll these things, which overall isn't bad. So I'm gonna go about my day. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Probably not a whole heck of a lot, seeing as I have a head full of rollers. But the next check-in will probably, what time is it? It's 10, 10, 21 a.m. Six hours should be enough. Now you can see by looking at this with things sticking out everywhere, why it was such a shit show trying to sleep in these things. So I will check in with you guys at 4.30 and we will take these things out and fingers crossed, the frizz is gone and we are left with nothing but curls. So the time is 4.07. Time to take these things out. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. So far, so good. Ooh, I'm liking these. These curls are soft and bouncy and not too insanely tight, which is what I was a little nervous about. Whoa, poofy hair, but in a good sort of way. <laughs> Try and move back a bit. Try and sit up a little bit so you guys can see this is the final result. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to like it. I wasn't even really expecting it to work out. Now, the only downside with these is sleeping in them is not gonna be an option, at least not for me. So for my hair, it seems the secret to making this work, because I have thick hair and I have a lot of it, is to uh, wrap the sections in larger pieces rather than smaller ones. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.